morning everybody and welcome to Tuesday morning's maths lesson. Now before we start this lesson, it's really important that you've printed off the template of tens and ones because they're going to help you with finding the different combinations of numbers. Now today I have done an example sheet. You've got your very own sheet what you're going to look at and this is your sheet. But I'm going to explain exactly what you've got to do. Now today we are going to be using the part whole model as you can see here, and we're going to be finding different combinations of making the same number. So we're going to start with 39. So I'm going to get my tens and ones for 39. How many ones do I need for 39? Well done, I need nine ones. So again, you, you've got your paper copy, you're going to count out nine ones as well to help you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many tens does 39 have? Great work. It has three tens. So already I have found one combination. If I added these together, it would make 39. But I can't write three tens in the box. How do I write the number three tens? Well done. I write it as 30. And then I've got nine ones. So again, sticking with 39, we're going to make a different way. I don't want to put nine and 30. I want a completely different way. Does anybody know how I might be able to do this? Well done. I'm going to pinch a 10. So now, how many tens have I got here? I've got two tens, and what number does that make? Excellent, it makes 20. So I'm going to put 20 here. And now, i still got nine ones, but how many tens? Excellent, I've got one ten and nine ones. Okay, let's have a look at another combination I've got. I've done 30 add 9. 20 add 19, what else could I do? Excellent, I could pinch another 10 and put it on the other side. So how many 10s have I got now? Well done, I've got one 10. Which is one 10 and zero ones. But if I had a look at this now, how many ones do I have still? nine ones and how many tens have I got? I've got two tens so what number does two tens and nine ones make? Excellent, it makes 29. Let's have a look at the first one then. What do you notice about the tens? Excellent, they decrease each time, look, 30, 20, and 10. But what do you notice about the ones? Excellent, they increase each time. We go 9, 19, 29. So the tens decrease by 10 each time, but the ones increase by 10 each time. Let's have a look at 55, shall we? What's the first way we could make 55? I'm gonna get my tens and ones ready. I'm gonna put 55. So I've got three tens and two there, and then I've got my five ones. Okay then, so what's the first way we could do? Excellent, we could look at the ones. We've got five ones. I'm gonna write them in the first box here, my five ones. And how many tens have I got here? Well done, five tens, but I want to write five tens. How can I write five tens as a number? Brilliant, I write it with five tens and I've got zero ones. Okay, what's another way I could do now to make another combination to make 55? Well done, I could pinch one ten and add it to my ones. So how many ones have I got now? I've still got five ones, 
but I've also got one ten. What does one ten and five ones make? Excellent, it makes fifteen. So I'm going to write fifteen here. How many tens have I got? Fantastic, I've got four tens. So how do I write that as a number? I write it four and a zero. Have you already started to notice? Look, my tens has decreased by 10. So I've gone 50 to 40. But my ones has increased by 10. So I've gone from 5 to 15. Do you think you could work out already what the next combination is? Put it in your head and let's see if it matches. So what could I do with my tens now? Well done. I could pinch a 10 and add it to my ones. So how many ones have I got still? Well, and I've still got five ones, but how many tens have I got next to it? Super duper, two tens and five ones make 25. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm gonna write 25 here. Let's have a look at the tens then. How many tens have I been left with? Brilliant work. I've been left with three tens, which makes 30. Let's count in tens. 10, 20, 30. So I'm going to put my 30 here. Did you guess that one correctly before doing it with your tens? Well done. Let's check the pattern. 50 take away. 110 equals 40. 40 take away, 110 equals 30. And if we look at our ones, five ones add 110 equals 15. 15 add another 10 equals 25. Have you already started to think what the next one could be? Let's have a go then. I'm going to have to do what? Do I pinch from this side or do I pinch from these tens? Well, then I'm going to pinch from this 10. So, how much have I got here? What number does three tens and five ones make? Well done, 35. Shall we check? 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I'm going to put my 35 here. No, Miss McGrath, you're going to put it here. So then, how many tens have I got left? Super, I've got two tens, but what number does that make? Well done, it makes 20. So look, we've already found with our tens and ones, four different ways to make 55. I haven't changed the ones, I've kept the ones as a five, I've just been changing the tens each time. So let's have a look at the last one. I'm going to pinch a 10 again. I hope you're doing it with me on yours. So now, what number do I have here? I've got four tens and five ones. Count them up. I'll do it with you. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. It makes 45. So I'm going to put my 45 here. And then how many tens am I left with? One ten, which makes, well done, ten. And if you look carefully, look, the ones number always ends in a five. Five in 15, it ends with a five. It's got one ten and five ones. In 25, we've got two tens and five ones. In 35, I've got three tens and five ones. And in 45, I've got four tens and five ones. And our tens are always ends in a zero. Five tens, zero one. Four tens, zero ones. Three tens, zero ones. Two tens, zero ones. And one ten, zero ones. So if you notice, to find the different combinations, what have we had to do each time? Well done. We've took away ten at one ten each time and we've added it to our ones 15 25 35 45 well done 
Right then, let's have a look at 61. Can you tell me the first combination? Let's make it with our tens and ones. So I need six tens and one one. What's the first way we've made it then? Super duper, I've made it with one one. And how many tens? Excellent, six tens which make 60. Well done. So what am I going to have to do now to find another combination to make the same number of 61? Well done, pinch a 10. So what does 110 and 11 make? Well done, it makes 11. Excellent. How many 10s have I been left with though now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I've got five tens. What number does that make? Let's check. Let's count in tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So look, I found two ways already to make sixty-one. Sixty and one. Fifty and eleven. Hmm. What would be the next way then? What have I got to do? Well done, I've got to pinch a 10 and put it with the 1s. What number have I got here then? I've got 1, 1 and 2 10s. Should we start by counting the 10s? 10, 20 and add the 1 is 21. Well done. So I'm going to put it in the 1s number here. Excellent work. How many 10s have I got left now? Excellent, I've got four tens left. And what number, how do I make that number? Four and a zero, because four tens is 40. Well done. So I'm going to put my 40 here. And then what have I got to do? Well done, pinch a 10. And what number do I make here now? Let's count the tens. 10. 20, 30, add the little one, 31. I'm going to put that here. And then how many tens have I got? Should we count in tens? 10, 20, 30. And then I'm going to pinch a 10. Well done. So now let's have a look at the one. I'm going to put my ones. Are you ready? 10. 20, 30, 40, 41. I'm going to put that here. And then how many tens have I got? Excellent work. And then, hmm, I'm going to see if I can do the last one without it. Let's count backwards in tens and see if we can find it out. 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Well done, it's 10. Let's count the ones and see if we can work out the last number. 1, 11, 21, 31, 41. Excellent work, 51. So we've got our tens is decreasing each time, but our ones number is increasing by 10 each time. So when you've completed your sheet, children, you've got exactly the same but different numbers. I then have got you another sheet, not as big as Miss McGrath's, but I would like you to choose a number between 91 and 99 and see if you can find the diff all of the different combinations and write it all on this sheet. Well done, Year 2. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day finishing your maths work. Bye!